Thursday, October 31st. The city streets are crowded for the holiday, even with the rain. Hidden in the chaos is the element, waiting to strike like snakes at the decent, the vulnerable. But I'm there too, watching. Two years of nights have turned me into a nocturnal animal. My senses are heightened now. I can almost smell them. I must choose my targets carefully. It's a big city. I can't be everywhere. But they don't know where I am. We have a signal now for when I'm needed. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. To them, fear is a tool. They think I'm hiding in the shadows. But I am the shadows. I'm vengeance. Tonight, I am needed. Lieutenant Gordon calls me to the mayor's house. He's been murdered. I'm there to help investigate the crime. What do we know, Detective? Whoa, Lieutenant. Is he with you? Yeah. Sorry, Lieutenant. Okay, yeah. We got blunt force trauma, lacerations on the head. He got hit a lot of times, and hard. His wife and son were out trick-or-treating. Mayor was up here alone. Killer came through the skylight. Yeah, good observation. You said there was a card? Yeah, a greeting card. Here you go. Thanks. Let's see here. From a secret friend. Who? Having a clue? Let's play a game, just me and you. What does a liar do when he's dead? What in the world? Bizarre. There's all kinds of weird symbols. There's a cipher, too. Any of this mean anything to you? It's addressed to you. Batman. Ah, look who's here. It's Commissioner Savage. What's going on here, Gordon? What? You got... you got him with you? I asked him to come, Pete. This is a crime scene. It's Mitchell, for crying out loud. I got press downstairs. You know, I cut you a lot of slack, Jim, because we got history. But this is way over the line. Look, Pete. The killer left a card. He addressed it to Batman. Wait. He's involved in this? No, no, he's not involved. How do you know? He's a vigilante. 
He could be a suspect. What are you doing to me? We used to be partners. Pete, I'm just looking for the connection. He lies still. Excuse me? There's a riddle in the card. What does a liar do when he's dead? He lies still. Goodness. This must be your favorite night of the year, huh, pal? Happy Halloween, you freak. Gordon, I want him out of here. Now! Yes, sir. I wish I could say I'm making a difference. But I don't know. Murder, robberies, assault. Two years later, they're all up. And now this. The city's eating itself. Maybe it's beyond saving. But I have to try. Push myself. These nights all roll together. In a rush. Behind the mask. Sometimes, in the morning, I have to force myself to remember everything that happened. The Riddler left a cipher in his card. With the help of my friend, Alfred, we were able to decipher a word. Drive. After further investigation, this led Lieutenant Gordon and myself to the mayor's car, where we found a thumb drive. So we plugged it into Gordon's computer. You sure about this? You don't trust me? Trust you? You mean like you trust me? It's been two years. I still don't even know who you are, man. All right. Let's see what's on the drive. A bunch of pictures. It's Mayor Mitchell with some girl outside the Iceberg Lounge. So much for family values. Who's the girl he's with? No idea. But that's the Penguin. Carmine Falcone's right hand. I know who he is. His name's Oswald Cobblepot. I decided to pay the penguin a visit at the Iceberg Lounge. That's where he works. And I couldn't just prance in there like I own the place. I had to break a few noses on my way in. So I can get to the man I wanted to see. sweetheart. You looking for me? I see you met the twins. Boy, you're everything they say, ain't you? I guess we both are. How you doing? I'm Oz. Look at these pictures. Who's the girl? I really don't know, Chief. Might have been coming out at the same time, but I wasn't rolling with him. I want to know who she is, and what she has to do with this murder. Who's my... Don't make me hurt you. Hey, you better watch it. You know my reputation? Yeah, I do. Do you? Look. I'm just a proprietor, okay? I mean what people do here. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Why don't you ask Mitchell's wife? Maybe she knows. What? Too soon? I'm out of here. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, okay, Sunshine? On my way out of the Iceberg Lounge, I saw a girl. She saw me too. Our eyes met. But there's one thing about this girl. 
She was wearing the same boots as the girl in the photos with the mayor. So I followed her home that night and showed her the photos. Where do you get these photos? He hurt her? That why you killed him? What? Oh, please. What's her name? Who is she? Anika. She's my roommate. She's my friend. What does she know? Whatever it is, it's got her so scared she took off. I'm worried about her. Someone raided our place. Took my phone. Everything. There's been another gruesome murder. The killer himself, who wears a mask, posted the following message on social media. We should warn you, the video is disturbing. Hello, people of Gotham. This is the Riddler speaking. On Halloween night, I killed your mayor because he was not who he pretended to be. But I am not done. Here is another who will soon be losing face. I will kill again and again until our day of judgment, when the truth about our city will finally be unmasked. Good bye. Oh my god, that's the commissioner. He killed the commissioner. I've seen him too, at the club. The Iceberg Lounge? The 44 below. The club within the club. The real club. It's a mob hangout. That where you work? Selena? I work at the bar. Upstairs. But I see them come in. Who? Everybody. A lot of guys who shouldn't be there, I can tell you that. Your basic, upstanding citizen types. You're gonna help me on this. For your friend. With two public figures now dead in just the last two nights, and only days before the election, police and city officials are left searching for a killer and hoping to find him before he kills again. to work out late at night when nobody was around. There's a needle mark on his neck. That psycho injected him with arsenic. Rat poison. What kind of sicko does this to a person? He blasted out more photos, too. This time with the commissioner at the Iceberg Lounge with some guy. This guy pushes drugs. On the East End. I don't get it. Why would Pete get involved in this? Looks like he got greedy. Are you kidding? After everything we did to bust the Maronis, we shut down their whole operation. Now he's caving to some dealer? Maybe he's not who you thought. You make it sound like he had it coming. He was a cop. He crossed the line. <sighs> There's another card for you. From the Riddler. Here. about you. Want to know my name? Just look inside and see. But wait. I cannot tell you. It might spoil the chemistry. Follow the maze till you find the rat. Bring him into the light. And you'll find where I'm at. What's that all about? Bring him into the light? Find the rat? I don't know.
Gordon and I were at a loss. We had nothing at this point. So I decided to pay a visit to a prisoner at Arkham Asylum. Take a look at these files. A present? Almost our anniversary, isn't it? There's a serial killer. I want your perspective. First anniversary's paper. What makes you think I come so cheap? I thought you'd be curious. Oh, a little Lord Weeding. You think this stuff gets me going? Doesn't it? You have pictures? Yeah, here. Take a look. Oh, his violence is so ornate. He likes little puzzles, doesn't he? So meticulous. It's like he's been planning this his whole life. I know who he is. Who? Who is he? He's a nobody who wants to be somebody. The mayor, the commissioner, he's got ambition. You think his motive's political? No. This is very personal. He feels like these people have all wronged him. Probably goes way back. Unhealed wounds, stolen lunch money. <laughs> Why is he writing to me? Maybe he's a fan. Or maybe he's got a grudge against you, too. Maybe you're the main cause. Any theories? I'm sure you have your own hypothesis. <sighs> Not yet. Really? You're normally so ahead of the curve. But something's different this time. This is very upsetting to you. No, let, let's get back to him. Why? You're so much more fun. I'm not here to talk about me. What are you here to talk about? I want to know how he thinks. Oh, come on. You know exactly how he thinks. Have you read this file? You two have so much in common. Master Ventures. But he's even more righteous. Are you afraid he's making you look soft? You're wasting my time. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what I really think. I think you don't really care about his motives. Whether he loves you or hates you. I think, somewhere deep down, you're just terrified. Because you're not sure he's wrong. You think they deserved it. Don't you? I needed to go in another direction, so I employed the help of my new friend, Selena Kyle. I had her go into the 44 below and see what we could find. And there were some typical people there like the Penguin and Carmine Falcone, the top mob boss in Gotham. It's a mob spot after all. But Selena was right. There were some upstanding citizens there, you wouldn't believe. Then half the DA's office was there, including the district attorney himself, Gil Coulson. And like most people there, he was wasted out of his mind. Thankfully, Selena was able to pry a little bit of information out of him after some small talk. I hope you don't mind. I got a lot of weight on my shoulders with that psycho running around. 
I don't mind. What's going on? I mean, you don't understand. This Ridley's going after the most powerful guys in the city. They know so much. Look at that creepy video with the rat. What do you mean, a rat? I mean, there was a rat. We had an informant. We had big time information on Salvatore Moroni. That's how we bustle these drug operations. But if this guy knows, and if it ever comes out who the rat is, the whole city's gonna come apart. That's about all the information we were able to get out of Coulson. But we needed more. We needed more information. But in the meantime, it was time to talk to Gordon, get his perspective. So we met at our typical spot, an unfinished skyscraper in the middle of Gotham, which is where Gordon keeps the signal. What do you know about a confidential informant in the Moroni case? All I know is that there was an informant. That's the rat we're looking for. Somehow Riddler knows who he is. We find the rat. Maybe that'll lead us to him. Where are you getting this? I have a source who spoke to the DA tonight. Gil's very nervous. He thinks the killer's targeting people connected to the case. I worked that case too. No, Riddler's not after you. How do you know? You're not corrupt. Coulson's dirty? Yeah. Well, maybe I'd go after him. Lean on him to give up the rat. Too dangerous. Coulson said they made a secret deal with this guy. Whoever it is, it's huge. And who knows how many people it touches. Politicians, police, the courts. We could tear the city apart. Man. This is a powder keg. Yeah. And Riddler's the match. Things were about to get worse. That night, Gil Colson was kidnapped by the Riddler. And the next day, he was delivered to Gotham City Hall. During the mayor's memorial, his mouth was duct taped, a cell phone was taped to his hand, and a bomb was fastened to his neck. And on his chest was another greeting card, addressed to me, addressed to Batman. The police cleared the hall, leaving Coulson in there alone while they tried to figure out what to do. But we don't have time for that. So I went in to talk to Coulson myself. I walked in, peeled the tape off his mouth. <gasps> he made me do it. He said if I didn't do exactly what he said, to kill me, please. Get somebody, get this thing off! Looks like a combination lock. Can't you cut it off? Not if you want to keep your head. The card. The card. Read the card. In these trying times, never forget. Just a phone call away. Who are you? Me? I'm... I'm nobody. I'm just an instrument here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. Unmask? Yes. Let's do it together, okay? I've been trying to reach you. You're part of this too. Me? 
How am I part of this? You see, at the moment, the man across from you, Mr. Coulson, is dead. <laughs> Can we please get somebody over here? Quiet! You deserve to be dead after what you did. You hear me? I'm giving you a chance. No one ever gave me a chance. However, since I was a child, I've always loved little puzzles. For me, they're a retreat from the horrors of our world. Maybe they can bring some comfort to you too, Mr. Coulson. You, 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 you want me to do the puzzles? Three riddles in two minutes. You give me the answers, and I'll give you the code for the law. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, uh, um, okay, yeah, yeah. So you just, you want me to... Your two minutes start now. Riddle number one. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's a violence you may find. Wait, 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 can you repeat that? I didn't, I, I didn't, I, cruel, um, uh, poetic... Justice. What? The answer's justice. Yeah, justice. And you are supposed to be an arm of justice in this city, along with the late mayor and police commissioner. Were you not, Mr. Prosecutor? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course... Riddle number two. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eyes? Price? Bribes. He's asking you how much it costs for you to turn your back. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. How much? Oh, like uh, the only one? I didn't do anything worse than anyone else. 58 seconds. How much? 10 grand. 10 G's a month. I take a, a, a monthly payment to not prosecute. Certain cases. What cases? Hey, no, no, hey, 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 he didn't ask me that, okay? Come on, ten grand, that's the answer. Okay, okay, don't lose your head, Mr. Colson. Just one more to go before your time runs out. Last riddle, since your justice is so select, please tell us which vermin you're paid to protect. Thank goodness, uh... Which vermin? The rat. The informant you all protect. How do you know about that? I'm trying to help you. What's his name? No, 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 you don't understand! 20 seconds. You're running out of time. I'm getting the way! You're talking to a dead man, okay? If I go this way, it's just me. But if I give him that name, I got family. People I care about. And I'll get them too. What are you talking about? Who are watching? What people? Who? Listen to me, man. You may think that you know what this is, but you don't. It's so much bigger than you could ever imagine. It's a whole system. Try. Oh, no. Four, oh God! Somebody get three, this off of me! Somebody get this off! Goodbye. Somebody get this off of me! Somebody get this! And that was the end for Coulson. I barely made it out alive myself. The blast knocked me back quite a bit, but I was all right. Time to meet up with Gordon again. The Chief put out an APB on you. They didn't like that you went in for Coulson. They say you could be an accessory for murder. I don't trust any of them. Do you? I only trust you. I saw one of your guys at the Iceberg Lounge with the Penguin. Who? The guy with the mustache. That's Kinsey in Narcotics. What are you saying? Kinsey moonlights for the penguin? Or 
He moonlights as a cop. What's a narcotics cop doing with Falcone's right-hand man? Coulson said cops protect the rat. Maybe Kenzie's part of it. You think Penguin's a rat? His club caters to the mob. Maroney was a regular. Penguin would have been privy to a lot of dirt. And the DA was a regular too. Maybe Penguin got himself into some trouble in making a deal. The Rada Alada. The what? Riddler's latest cipher. It means a rat with wings, like a stool pigeon. Right. A penguin's got wings, too. Time for another conversation with him. What about the Riddler? He's gonna kill again. It's all connected. Like it or not, this is his game now. We want to find the Riddler, we gotta find that rat. Think Penguin will talk? I'll be persuasive. So we followed the Penguin back to a warehouse. And we made quite a discovery. It looks like the Penguin is running Salvatore Moroni's drug operation. That GCPD drug bust was just a fraud. They never shut it down at all. It was a cover-up. They arrested Moroni and gave the business to someone else. And here, at the warehouse, the operation was in full swing. And dirty cops like Kenzie were there as well. But we needed to get Penguin alone. So we waited for him to leave. Then I chased him through the streets of Gotham in my car. Finally, caught up with him so Gordon and I can have a word with him. Whoa, both of you? What is this? Good cop, bad cop? Who's the Riddler? Riddler? How should I know? Let's make it easy for you, Oz. Cops caught you doing something. They were gonna shut you down, put you away. So you gave up a bigger fish to save your skin. You ratted out Salvatore Moroni, his drug operation. But then the cops and city officials, the mayor, the DA, they all got greedy, right? It wasn't enough to score a big career making busts. They could take over the business too, but they needed a minor league mope like you to run it. You don't just work for Carmine Falcone. You work for them, too. What are you, crazy? That why you killed the girl? I didn't kill anybody. We know she worked for you at the 44 Below. She got too close, right? She found out from Mitchell you were the rat, so you killed her. But somehow Riddler knows too. He knows so much about you. You must know about him. Who is he? Boy, you guys are a heck of a duet here. Why don't you start harmonizing? Only problem with the little scenario, okay? I ain't no rat. You got any idea what Carmine Falcone would do to me if you heard this kind of talk? Oh, you don't want to talk about rats? Why don't we talk about what they did to my partner's face? Look at these photos. Oh, God, what are you showing me? Ah, come on. Open your eyes! Are you El Rata Alada? El Rata Alada? Yeah, rat with wings, a stool pigeon. That's not you? Riddler Cypher says you are El Rata Alada. You are El Rata says that? Why? Got something you want to tell us, Oz? Yeah. It's like the way Spanish I have heard. What? It's La. La Rata. What is this, Riddler stupid or something? What? Goodness. Look at you two. World's greatest detectives. Am I the only one here that knows the difference between L and La? No hablo espanol, fellas? Do me a favor and hush already. Think you made a mistake? The Riddler doesn't make mistakes. A rat with wings? You know what that sounds like to me? A friggin' bat. You ever think of that? You are El Rata. You are L. It's a URL, a website. Laptop's in my car. Let's go. Hey, you guys realize I'm still here, right? You gonna untie me? How am I supposed to get out of here? Come on! You scumbag! I don't know, man. You sure about this? Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe he's not as smart as we thought. Just type in the link. See where it goes. Oh my gosh. Is that him? On the screen? Did you find him? Uh, 
Maybe. Is a penguin a rat with wings? the biggest piece of the puzzle yet. Victim? Is the victim dead? He will be soon. Here's a clue to where you can find him. I grew up from a seed, tough as a weed, but in a mansion, in a slum, I'll never know where I come from. Do you know what I am? Yeah. You're an orphan. What was that all about? A mansion. In a slum. He's talking about the old orphanage. The one that burned down? It was part of the Wayne estate. They donated it after they built the tower. The Waynes? Who's his next victim? The Waynes are dead. All that's left is... His next victim is Bruce Wayne. I... I gotta go. What? Hey, wait! Where are you going? I raced back to Wayne Tower, where I live. I am Bruce Wayne, but I'm not home. But my good friend, Alfred, is. But I was too late. The Riddler sent a package with a bomb. Alfred was terribly injured. He survived. I needed to talk to Selena. So I had her meet me atop the skyscraper. I saw you at the warehouse stealing some money. That while you work at the club, it was all just a score. While I'd love to go over every gory detail, Batboy, you just wouldn't understand. Cat burglar pulling another score. It's Anika. I know they killed her. I know that dirty cop Kenzie is involved. It's not safe for me here now. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. Yeah, well, things were getting a little hot for me. How can they do that to her? I'm gonna find them. Make them pay. That scumbag Kinsey? All of them. You gonna help me? Help you? Yeah? I thought you were vengeance. Your friend got involved with the wrong people. She didn't know better. Maybe you should have explained it to her. Your choices have consequences. Choices? You know, whoever you are, obviously, you grew up rich. Was it worth it? What? Compromising yourself for money. What'd you have to do to set up that score? How close did you have to get? To Penguin? To Falcone? You don't know what you're talking about, okay? Falcone owes me that money. Owes you? Yeah. And a whole lot more. Oh, really? Why is that? Forget it. I can't even talk to you. No, tell me. I, I want to know. Why would a guy like Falco owe you anything? Because he's my father. My mother worked at the 34 below. Just like Ani. She used to take me there when I was a little girl. To the club? I hid out in the dressing room while she worked. I used to see him there. He scared the heck out of me. 
I could never understand why he looked at me the way he did. Then one night, my mother told me who he was. When I was seven, my mother was murdered. Someone strangled her. They never found out who. Probably some creep from the club. Anyway, when social services came to take me away, he didn't say a thing. Couldn't even look at me. He owes me that money. I'm sorry. For what he did. It's alright. You just assume the worst in people. And maybe we aren't so different after all. Who are you under that mask? What are you hiding? Are you just... hideously scarred? Yeah. Listen to me. If we don't stand up for Ani, no one will. All anyone cares about in this place is the mayor, the commissioner, the DA, and now Thomas and Bruce Wayne. Far as I'm concerned, the cycle's right to go after these creeps. I think you'd be on his side. Wait, what do you... What do you mean Thomas and Bruce Wayne? What, do you live in a cave? The Riddler's latest is all about the Waynes. Listen, if I can find that douchebag Kenzie, will you help me? Please, come on, vengeance. Yeah. Don't take any moves without me. Understand? This is all more dangerous than you know. I can take care of myself. I'm Thomas Wayne, and I approve this message. From a very young age, my family and Martha's family, the Arkhams, instilled in both of us that giving back is not just an obligation, it's a passion. That is our family's legacy. The Waynes and the Arkhams, Gotham's founding families. But what is their real legacy? Twenty years ago, one reporter set out to uncover the dark truth. He found shocking family secrets. How when Martha was just a child, her mother brutally murdered her father, they committed suicide. And how the Arkhams used their power and money to cover it up. How Martha herself was in and out of institutions for years, and he didn't want anyone to know. Thomas Wayne tried to force this crusading reporter into a hush money agreement to save his mayoral campaign. But when the reporter refused, Wayne turned to longtime secret associate, Mafia Kingpin Carmine Falcone, and had him murdered. The Wayne's and Arkham. Gotham's legacy of lies and murder. One by one, Gotham's pillars fall. On Judgment Day, the wreckage will consume us all. Good. I then decided to pay a visit to Falcone himself, but not in my disguise, as myself, as Bruce Wayne. Well, well, well. If it isn't the prince of the city himself, I thought I might hear from you. Your father saved my life. I got shot in the chest, right here. Couldn't go to no hospital, so we showed up on his doorstep. He took me in. We operated right on the dining room table. You were there. Saw the whole thing. Is it true? What? They report a business? What do you want to know here, kid? What are you looking for? The truth. Did you kill him? For my father? Look. Your father saved my life, and I was loyal to him. I even tried to give money to his campaign when he ran for mayor. 
and he wouldn't take it. He didn't want to associate with a guy like me. My father hated everything you stand for. Yeah, I know. Of course he did. Guys like you, your father. You don't want anything to do with me. Until you need me, right? Your father was in trouble, okay? This reporter had some dirt. Some very personal stuff about your mother. Her family history. You know. Everybody's got their dirty laundry. That's how it is. But he didn't want none of that coming out. <laughs> Not right before the election. Your father tried to pay this guy off, but... He wasn't going for it. So he came to me. I never seen him like that, he said. I want you to put the fear of God in this guy. And when fear isn't enough, you take it to the next level. Your father wanted me to handle it, so I did. I handled it. I know you thought your father was a boy scout. But you'd be surprised what even a good man like him is capable of in the right situation. Do me a favor. Don't lose any sleep over this, okay? This reporter was a lowlife. He was on Maroney's payroll. <laughs> he got what was coming. Maroney? Oh yeah. Maroney could never stand that your father and I had a history. And after what happened with this reporter, I think he was worried your father would be in my pocket forever. <sighs> he would have done anything to keep him from being mayor. You understand? Anything. Are you saying, Salvatore Moroni had my father killed? <laughs> Do I know it for a fact? I'm just saying it sure looked that way to me. <sighs> this? This is what you wanted? This little conversation here? <laughs> yeah. I suppose it's a long time coming. <laughs> I mean, you ain't a kid no more. I was shocked, hurt, I felt betrayed, so I rushed to the hospital to speak to the one man, the only other man that could have told me this. to me, Alfred. I spoke to Carmen Falcon. What did he say? He told me what you did for my father and about Salvatore Moroni. He told you Salvatore Moroni had my father killed. Alfred, why didn't you tell me all this? I spent all these years Fighting for him. Believing. He was a good man. He was a good man. I don't know, Alfred. Listen to me. Your father was a good man. He made a mistake. A mistake? He had a man killed. Why? To protect the family image. His political aspirations. It wasn't to protect the family image. And he didn't have anyone killed. He was protecting your mother. He didn't care about his image, the campaign, any of that. He cared about her and you. These secrets about your mother's family, they haunted her. She battled with them every single day. We all have our scars, Bruce. And your father knew if everything came out, it would be too much for her. It would destroy her. He just... He loved her too much. And in the moment of weakness, he turned to Falcone. But he never thought Falcone would kill that man. Your father should have known that Falcone would do anything to finally have something on him he could use. To own him. That's who Falcone is. And that was your father's mistake. But when Falcone told him what he'd done, your father was distraught. He told Falcone he was going to the police, that he'd confess everything. And that night, your father and mother were killed. 
What? It was Falcon? I wish I knew for sure. Yes, maybe. Or maybe it was some random thug on the street who needed money. He got scared and pulled the trigger too fast. If you don't think I've spent every day searching for that answer. It was my job to protect them. Do you understand? I know you always blamed yourself. You were only a boy, Bruce. I could see the fear in your eyes. But I didn't know how to help. I could teach you how to fight. I wasn't prepared to take care of you. You needed a father. But all you had was me. I'm sorry. No, Alfred. Don't be sorry. God. I never thought I'd feel fear like that again. Thought I'd mastered all that. I mean, I'm not afraid to die. But I realize now, there's something I never got past. The fear of ever going through any of that again. Of losing someone I care about. Well, I'm afraid you won't get rid of me just yet. Right then, the signal lit up the sky. I rushed to the meetup spot. But it wasn't Gordon that lit the signal. So Gordon and I were both surprised when we found Selena atop the skyscraper. But she wasn't there alone. She had a prisoner bound by her lock chain to the guardrail at the building's edge. Hey, what's going on? Kenzie, that you? Selena? What are we going to do? He had my stuff, my phone. Anika left the message. The night they took her, she called me. Gordon, help me out, man. Quiet. <gasps> I'm telling you, she called me. Here, listen. No, 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 Ed. I was... Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Come on, Kenzie, you're scaring her. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Falcon. Hey, you okay? Come here. Please don't. Don't hurt me. Nah, nah, don't be scared. Come here. Now, let me just ask you again. What did Mitchell tell you? Nothing. He said nothing. Mitchell? Mitchell liked to talk. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Especially to pretty girls like you. All I want to do is get out of here, okay? You'll never hear from me again. Nobody will. Please. We're gonna get you out of here. I promise. But first, I gotta know. What did he tell you? He... He just said they... They all made a, a deal with you. Oh, he told you about that, huh? A deal. Yeah, long time ago he said... Uh, he said you gave some information for some drug thing, helped a lot of people, and and that's how he became mayor. He said that you were a, a, a very important man. Right, right. Oh my gosh. It's strangling there. wings too. Falcon's the rat. Kenzie. He works for you guys. The DA? The mayor? No. We work for him. Everybody does. How? After Thomas Wayne died, they all went after his charity fund like vultures. The mayor, Falcone, Moroni, everyone got in on it. It was perfect. For making bribes, laundering money, 
A huge charitable fund with no oversight. Everybody got a piece. But Falcon wanted more. So we orchestrated a play to take Moroni down big. He ran out his drug operation. Make the careers of everybody that went after him. Then installed them all as his puppets. He'd run this city. And he's been doing it ever since. Falcon runs this city. He's been the mayor for the last 20 years. Come on, Vengeance. Let's go kill Falcone. Let's creep too. Let's finish this. No. We'll get him. But not this way. There is no other way. He owns the city. Cross that line. You'll become just like him. Wait, listen to me. Don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I've got nine of them. See you later. I'm going after Falcone. She'll never get out of there alive. If she kills Falcone, we may never find the Riddler. I have to stop her. And then what? We do what Riddler said. Bring the rat into the light. All the evidence is on her phone. The voicemail. And with that, GCPD was able to implicate Falcone with murder. And before Selena could reach him, he was in handcuffs. However, when police escorted him outside, a shot was fired, and Falcone was lifeless on the ground. We brought the rat into the light, like the Riddler said, and he revealed himself by firing the shot that killed Falcone from an apartment nearby. Police raided his home and arrested him. He was identified as Edward Nashton, a forensics accountant. We thought his reign of terror was over. But we were wrong. We discovered that the Riddler had an online following. They wanted to be like him, dress like him. This isn't over. And then, Riddler asked for me at Arkham. What do you want from me? What? If you only knew how long I've been waiting for this day. For this moment, I've been invisible my whole life. Guess I won't be anymore, will I? They'll remember me now. They'll remember both of us. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. You know, I was there that day. The day the great Thomas Wayne announced he was running for mayor made all those promises. A week later, he was dead, and everybody just forgot about us. All they could talk about was poor Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne the orphan. Orphan. Living in some tower over the park isn't being an orphan. Looking down at everyone with all that money, don't you tell me. You know what being an orphan is. Thirty kids to a Twelve years old and already addicted. Numbing the pain. You wake up screaming with rats chewing your fingers. And every winter one of the babies dies because it's so cold. But, oh no. Let's focus on the billionaire with the lying dead daddy. Because at least the money makes it go easy, doesn't it? Bruce Wayne. He's the only one we need. Get. But we got the rest of them, didn't we? 
All those sick, sleazy, phony jerks. Come on, look at you. Your mask is amazing. I wish you could have seen me in mine. Isn't it funny? All anyone wants to do is unmask you. But they're missing the point. You and I both know. I'm looking at the real you right now. My mask allowed me to be myself completely. No shame, no limits. Why did you write to me? What do you mean? All those cards. I told you we've been doing this together. You're part of this. We didn't do anything together. We did. What did we just do? I asked you to bring him into the light and you did. We're such a good team. We're not a team. I never could have gotten him out of there. I'm not physical. My, my strength is in my head. I mean, I had all the pieces. I had the answers. But I didn't know how to make them listen. You gave me that. I gave you nothing. You showed me what was possible. You showed me all it takes is fear and a little focus to violence. You inspired me. You're out of your mind. What? This is all in your sick and twisted head. How can you say that? You think you'll be remembered? You're a pathetic psychopath begging for attention. You're gonna die in Arkham. Forgotten. Oh, a nobody. Oh, stop! No, 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 no! This is not how this was supposed to go! I had it all planned out. We were gonna be safe here. We could watch the whole thing together. Watch what? Everything. But I guess that won't be happening now, will it? What are you talking about? Oh, you didn't. It was all fair. You didn't figure it out. You're really not as smart as I thought you were. I guess I gave you too much credit. What have you done? What's black and blue and dead all over? You. And if you think you could stop what's coming. What are you talking about? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? my last message for a while. Tomorrow is election day. A new mayor will promise real change. But we know the truth, don't we? You've seen Gotham's true face now. Together we've unmasked it. It's corruption. It's perversion. Masquerading under the guise of change. But unmasking is not enough. The day of judgment is finally upon us. And now it is time for retribution. I've parked seven vans all along the city seawall. And on the big night, they will go boom. Now to all my followers, my minions. When things go wrong, cities have a plan. But tomorrow, we will turn it on its head. Make their emergency disaster plan truly a disaster. When the vans blow, the flooding will happen so fast, evacuation will not be an option. Those who are not washed away will race through the streets in terror. It's time for the lies to finally end. We'll give them a real, real change now. We've spent our lives in a wretched place, suffering, wondering why us. Now they will spend their last moments wondering 
The Riddler had it all planned out. The bombs he set all across Gotham caused a great flood in the city. It was election night, and the mayor-elect was celebrating at Gotham Square Garden, where many sought refuge from the flood. However, many of Riddler's followers were there, hiding in the rafters. There were over a dozen of them, each dressed like the Riddler and each heavily armed, ready to create havoc on the mass of people gathered inside the garden. But that was until I showed up. I began taking them down one by one. But there were many of them. Too many. I was bearing down struggling to overcome them. But then, Selina showed up. And with her help, we were able to subdue each of the gunmen. And at last, it was over. Riddler's insurrection was over. Wednesday, November 6th. In the aftermath of Riddler's attack on Gotham, the city is left underwater. The National Guard is coming. Martial law is in effect. But the criminal element never sleeps. Looting and lawlessness will be rampant in the parts of the city no one can get to. I can already see. Things will get worse before they get better. And some will seize the chance to grab everything they can. I'm starting to see now. I have had an effect here. But not the one I intended. Vengeance won't change the past. Mine or anyone else's. I have to become more. People need hope, to know someone's out there for them. The city's angry, scarred, like me. Our scars can destroy us, even after the physical wounds have healed. But if we survive them, they can transform us. They can give us the power to endure and the strength to fight. Some still believe the city is without saving. Like Selina, she's leaving, leaving Gotham. She doesn't believe Gotham can change and that it will only get worse. But I believe it can change. I have to try.
Isn't that just terrible? Him raining on your parade like that. What is it they say? One day you're on top, and the next, you're a clown. Well, let me tell you, there are worse things to be. Hey, don't be sad. You did so well. And you know, Gotham loves a comeback story. Who... who are you? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Riddle me this. The less of them you have, the more one is worth. Friend. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.